if it's your friends who do stuff together. You is for you and me. And is for anything. Anywhere at all down here in the deep blue. <laughs> Oh. That's the intro right there. That was the <laughs> intro. A couple of days ago, Bianca and I thought it was a good idea to invite all of our friends over to our brand new home of like two and a half months to come over to have a nice little friendly get together in honor of Thanksgiving. Some of you may know it as Friends giving. Now, you might be thinking, oh yeah, that's totally fine. What's the harm in that? No sweat, right? Wrong. We have never had friends over. This was a completely new place to us that we have not set up and weren't done setting up. And people are gonna walk into that. Not only that, we've never made a turkey before. Not only was I putting the pressure on myself, I was also running a little late in making some of the food. Is that a good noise? Stop it! Nice. This is our house. They abide by our rules. I've been living in the wrong, in the wrong house. Okay, and then we got people come, we can figure out about that table and how to extend it out. Come oh. through, Friendsgiving 2019. Or no. This is the first time Bianca has made a turkey. Yes. This is our first Friendsgiving. Hopefully many more that we get to host. And hopefully many more we get to host. So right here, we normally like sit, yeah, we sit. We sit here and we just watch TV while we're here. Open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your yes. prayers. Dude, it's a memory foam what? bed in there. For my personal favorite, our wedding is better tan yours. <laughs> That's mine. That's my idea. Lindsay, first one to go. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. I'm gonna be the last one to be eating. Mark my words after everybody's done. <laughs> no way, really? After everybody's done and full, I'm gonna be I'm gonna still be eating just a pride thing. I'm gonna do it. We were just like level one at everything and every aspect of our life, even right now. It was gonna be a little intimidating to invite people into that. Well, if you're anything like me, you're gonna put the pressure on yourself to not look like a beginner and a total noob. At least I know for myself, I was worried and afraid of inviting people into like my process, you know? Like this process of like settling in and like being new at something. And that can be intimidating for some of us. Maybe you're working on a new hobby or you're just starting a new job, or maybe you're not really good at something that everyone else might be good at. What Bianca and I learned, what I learned especially, was that you can literally invite people into your process and that's okay if they see that. It's okay if they see the stumbling and it's okay if they see the mistakes because it's not always gonna be this way. So if you're finding... So if you're finding yourself a beginner in whatever it is you're doing or whatever it is you're embarking on, know that that's okay and know you're not gonna get better unless you practice. And sometimes we can let the beginner-ness stop us from actually doing the thing, you know? We can oftentimes let the sense, we can, we can so I just want to encourage you, invite people into that process, let people see it, take approachable steps in order for you to get to your goal and rejoice in the fact that, hey, this isn't going to be forever. Cool? To all of you who are watching, thank you. Have a great Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, New Year's, Christmas, whatever it is. Have a great whatever. Cool? All right. Peace. <laughs>